what a game. Uh, what a goal five for the playoff. Yeah, what a game, what a, what a run lately. We won six games to get into the, the playoffs, it's huge. I'm, I'm really proud of the, of the team, you know, because uh, one month and a half ago, um, if we had the same interview, we were almost out of the playoff race. And and then, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the team, but I'm also proud of the fans, because uh, as I say, 90, 90 days ago, uh, uh, we saw sold out arena and sold out arena, 16,000 people coming to the game, and, and we were like, whoa. Uh, they believe in us, so we do have something. We do have to, like, to give back. We do have to give back something also, and uh, and it's huge achievement just to, to play a uh, minimum one more game in, in Jalgiriu Arena. Uh, of course, we're going to play against Fener, but uh, you know we we show lately that we have great character and we're going to prepare for this, those games. Because today we felt like we were in the Jalgiriu arena, arena for sure. It's lately, it was, it's every game like this. Uh, you know, in Piakos also we have a lot of fans in in Tel Aviv. Everywhere we go now, uh, I think the Lithuanian are very proud of the what Jargiris is doing. Uh, I think we're representing pretty well the country. They they did amazing last year, and uh, and so everybody is exciting. You know, when you when you when you come in uh, in, in Kaunas and we, we play a game that's that's huge for the city. It's like uh, here in soccer, uh, every bar uh, are full. Uh, everybody is so stressed, uh, jumping, and it's it's a uh, it's great feeling to be in this kind of. Uh, Team, yeah. And what about Saras? Could you survive without your coach? Yeah, uh, no, Saras is amazing. You know, of course he he's a tough coach, but uh, he's very fair and, uh, and straight in his back. So um, yeah, I, I love it. I don't have any problems with that. And uh, I think I think just uh, becoming one of the, the best coach in, in Europe and. Uh, and he will be uh, in, in the soon future uh, the best coach. What did he tell you during the last time out? Because you were all celebrating. Yeah, we didn't talk about tactics. Uh, we talk about something else. And that's it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Now you are facing one of the toughest uh, point guards in the Euroleague, uh -huh. Lucas. How do you see that matchup? How do you see Fenerbahce? No, Fenerbahce is a great team. They are the best uh, team in the regular season. Uh, they were first in standings. Uh, they are first in standings. And, uh, they, I think that's, uh, that's a very difficult matchup for us. But uh, like we did here, like we did uh, last this game, we're not going to give up. And we're going to prepare this game to win. And uh, it's going to be difficult, you know, but we're going we're gonna to let everything on the court. And last one, uh, did you know the results before the game? No, when uh, we, we, we didn't want to, to, to take a look on uh, We knew it 30 seconds before the end. You know, <laughs> we play Madrid here, uh, so we were focused on the on the win. And uh, and then uh, then and then we had this, uh, and we, we knew that uh, we were in play.